Hi, Jelly Emeralds here. I want to talk about the new Kali Pega update that has just recently came out within the making of this video. If you don't know what Kali Peg is, it's an animation app made for the iPad. And it just came out just last year. I found out about the app by roaming through the app store because I was looking for a reliable and good animation app that fits my needs. And thank God I found it. Kali Peg has just got a major update and that includes the sound layer, which is what I've been waiting for for a very long time. Initially, when I was making my AMV, I had created the animatic and Flipaclip, because Flipaclip has sound. And then afterwards, I imported that animatic into Kalipeg. And unfortunately, at that time, Kalipeg didn't have sound layer. And this call, this was very troublesome for me because it jumbled up the la my frames because my animatic was 600 and something frames and when i imported it into Kalipig, it became 6000 i had to play around with Kalipig just to get it work to work so now that Kalipig has sound i do not need to go through a third party app okay to add a new animation on pilot Kalipig, you have to press new shot and this gives you a bunch of options like how big do you want your canvas which you can't change in my opinion how many shots so that if you have like a bunch of different scenes like let's say you're making a short film you have a bunch of different scenes i think it would stack it or make it into a little stack next you have the frame per rate which is how fast you want your animation to be this you can change after you open a new animation so after this after you made your options and stuff you press create then after that you have you will see a bunch of stuff a little complicated but it's not really that bad because it's not that complicated so at the top left you have nine squares if you press that that's going to home or gallery next is your settings which you can change your preferences and next is the but this button i don't know the name of it but you can hide your frames and layers after that you have the play button and after that you have the brushes which you can make your own brushes you have the eraser the lasso tool to select an eyedropper to get colors and you have colors where you can choose colors this you can choose colors three different rays one way where i don't use where you can just drag um i don't know how to use that but yeah and then you can change colors into make it into a square or a triangle also you can make a palette at the bottom is your frames and layers this is very useful and this is what makes in my opinion Kali Peg very powerful because with flip a clip you only have one frame and that frame has that same frame has multiple layers and that makes it very hard to animate multiple things and with Procreate, which is weird how they have it. Well, I mean, the frames are through layers, and you can't really make, you know, good animations on doing that. Procreate, in my opinion, is just a drawing app, not an animation app. So, yeah. So at the bottom, you have your frames and layers, and at the bottom, you can have um. There's four different layers you can add. The first one is just like a regular layer, right? And then the next one is a transformation layer, which is something like rigging. It's, and, yeah. and then you have a video layer, which you can add videos. And now there's a sound layer. To add sound or the sound layer, you press this heartbeat looking wave thing. And after that, you can manually record your own sound or you can import a sound from the Files app. So to record your own sound manually, you press this red recording button. Or to import it, you press the arrow that's going down and out tell you to import and then you have to import from Files. So for this animation, I made my sound through GarageBand. I'm importing my sound into Kaliapeg, which you can see now. And now I have my sound. I'm creating another layer, and this will be my sketch. For Kaliapeg, you can have multiple layers. 
with each frame timeline and i said this earlier and this is very useful like i made i used this and took advantage of this for my school projects and here's a little sneak peek of that Now I'm finished with sketching and I'll go into a line art. Now I'll go into coloring. For the background, I usually create them in Procreate. You can also create backgrounds in Colipig. After all this, I usually go into shading, and with anim with Kalipeg, I have to manually shade, right? And this is a little tedious, you know, because I have to go through each frame and, you know, do all that. So hopefully, I'm hoping in the new future, Kalipeg can make a masking layer. I don't know if they have a masking layer, but if they don't, I hope they do make it because it will speed up the animation process beyond.
And here is my animation. Okay, so here is the recap. This isn't a full tutorial, so if you want to know more about how to use Kalipeg, you can go to their YouTube channel because they make tutorials on all the new features there. And for some videos, they include timestamps. So if you have like a specific thing you want to learn about, like how to make brushes, you can find that specific video and then go to the timestamp in their description box. Also, if you want me to make a tutorial video on how to use Kalipeg, I can show you what I know, like for like different things because in the video i didn't really tell you everything only just told you the basics and i can make that video as soon as i can or if you have like questions just comment down below and i'll answer them for you kali peng has um three different purchase features you can purchase it for a monthly subscription of about one dollar a yearly subscription of ten dollars and to own is fifty dollars that also includes updates so once you buy it you don't have to pay for it no more and that'll that'll include updates i know some people may ask so i'll just say it procreate is for the ios and for the ipad it costs ten dollars it's not a subscription once you buy it you own it and that includes updates for procreate pocket which is for the iphone that costs i think five to six dollars and that is not a subscription once you buy it you own it flip a clip is for both the ios and android and to buy it it costs five dollars on the ios i'm not sure about the price on android but i think it's the same price okay so i hope you guys like this video bye and i see you next time god bless